So, oh, it's actually really heavy. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Viola and I'm a fourth and final year student at the University of Oxford studying classics. I thought today I'd share with you what I have in my university bag as I know that these videos can be quite popular and it's always interesting to see what other people have in their own bags. So let's get started. Today my bag is actually really heavy but I thought that it would be a good day to film this. So, oh, let me get this up. I use my classic Kankan. I've had this bag now for about six and a half years and I have used it pretty much every single day at school and then at university and i used it every single day during my gap year i actually used it so much that it just looks so worn so 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 worn oh, so worn and one of the straps ended up coming off so i actually if you can see i actually had to sew it it back together um and it's holding up quite well at the moment so that's good but yes i always have loved these bags feel as though they hold a lot of things in them a lot more than you would expect so i'm going to show you today just what the capacity of this is that is just a small ramble before the video starts you probably know what a kankan looks like and you've probably seen them before but they have one small pocket here and then just one big pocket that opens up all the way around in the front pocket I just have a bunch of random things, really, to be honest with you. The first thing in here is my card wallet and purse. I like, really like this one. I got it in Canada. It is a beautiful, beautiful turquoisey colour. I really like it, but then it also has the zipped part where I can keep cash in here and coins. So that is also really useful for loose cash. The cards that I have in here are just my bank card, my university card, my ID my nando's card as you can see <laughs> um and my rail card and oyster card so it's always 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 with me the next thing i have is my keys my keys are just on this fluffy leopard toy that i have had for ages uh very easily to pick out from my bag it has my tesco club card students you gotta gotta get your points uh my key my bike key and then my two house keys then i've just got a snack i always have some kind of cereal bar in this pocket at the moment it is these go ahead bars in raspberry forest fruit the forest fruit flavor if anyone's wondering then i just have this little wallet thing i don't know what you'd call it which just holds a hairband and then lots of hair grips and this is mainly so that i have it when i go to the gym because usually when i go to the gym i will always have this bag with me because i need to take my water bottle and my resistance band so i usually have this in the pocket because when i get there I need to tie up my hair and then clip or clip away any of the loose parts, like the fringe bits, which are shorter. I always have tissues in the front. These ones are loose tissues, um, but I usually also have a pack of tissues. Always, always carry tissues with you because you never know when you're going to need one. And it's always good to just keep them in a small pocket in your bag or something because you'll always have them. On that note, I also always carry sanitizer in here. I can't say I use this on a daily basis, but it is obviously very useful to have in case you need it. Next up is paracetamol, and I seem to have two packets of these. Yeah, <laughs> two lots. So always, I always carry paracetamol um, in case I have a headache or it's the time of the month. I don't really carry a pencil case, so I seem to just have four pens. I have <laughs> four pens in the front pocket. Easy accessible, whenever you need a pen to sign something, to write something down, whatever it is, I have a pen. Next up, I seem to have a bunch of plasters, random plasters, small one, big one, medium one, <laughs> I don't know, just in case you get a cut on your finger, which I seem to get quite often, so always useful for me to have these plasters around. Then I just have a small wad of post-it notes. I don't carry around a ton of post-it notes because I don't see the use in it unless I specifically know that I'm using a lot of post-it notes that day, but I do carry these around just in case I need to put a note on a lecture handout or on a book that I'm reading I want to save the page um, and I'm going to take it out. Always, always handy to have post-it notes. I always 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 have my Vaseline when it's not in my bag I don't know what to do because I'm always using Vaseline especially because it's so cold and windy at the moment in England so I always carry this Vaseline with me. I have the one in cocoa butter because I just think that it's really nice, smells really nice and I just feel as though it's a lot smoother. With that, I always have my hand cream. This one is the Body Shop Vanilla Chai hand cream. Uh, so good in this 
cold weather uh when i was going when i was cycling every morning really early i would get such dry hands despite wearing gloves but this would save me and then ladies i always have a tampon in my front pocket as well because you never know when you're gonna need it ladies before we go into the main compartment the bag also has two side pockets on the side i don't tend to put my water bottle in these because i found with the cancans because these are quite small or very close to the body of the bag it means that it takes up some space of the inner side of the bag so when i have my water bottle inside in the outside pocket i can't really fit my laptop inside snugly enough because i have my laptop in a case so i tend to put my water bottle inside my bag rather than on the outside which can be really annoying sometimes but I like it this way, it works for me. I just have in the in one of the side pockets my gloves, uh, which are always handy to have in the side pocket because I can grab them anytime I get really cold. And every time I'm about to cycle, I always pull them out and put them on because it is so cold. And then I don't really have anything in the other pocket. Usually in the summer, I have my sunglasses in there, but I don't have them, have no reason for them right now. Into the inner pocket. Oh my God, it's actually really heavy. <laughs> First thing I have, is my water bottle i always 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 have this with me and i'm always constantly refilling it at the library because water is so good for you and if you don't have a water bottle you need to get on it you really do it's empty now but next up i usually have a box for my lunch which i've usually when i'm on a good days i've already pre-prepared so i can just take this along with me um if i'm having a day in the library and i can just eat it at lunchtime and then i also usually as a snack will always take a banana i have a banana case because my bananas I don't know about you, but I usually eat a lot of bananas. And so what I found is that they would always, 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 no matter what, how hard I tried to position the banana so that it wouldn't get squished, it always got swished, squished or bruised or whatever. So about two years ago, um, I got a banana case uh, from my mum and it has been so great. You just pop your banana inside close it up and it will not get squished and it will not get bruised and your banana is safe so i'd recommend getting this if you do eat a lot of bananas just because no one likes a squished mushy bruised banana so the main thing i have in this bag is of course my laptop so i have my laptop which is in this lovely baby blue case i got this case again when i got my laptop so about five years ago now i really like it it's a magnetic case so it closes just like this it has this hole here so you can charge the laptop through the case which i really like i really like this feature and then it also has a back pocket the documents a lecture handout you can put some stuff in the back and it's just a really snug laptop case and it fits really well this is my laptop it is a macbook air 13 inch all of my reading notes for weekly essays and weekly tutorials always goes on here i i write my notes digitally for readings every week but then i handwrite all of the rest of my notes the next thing i have is you might have seen this before in my stationary haul stationary video i think or one of my other organization videos i can't remember but it is this paper holder for this it is this paper wallet so every time i have a lecture and i want to and i get a handout or i have a class or something and i get sheets um i take this along with me clearly i haven't organized myself at the moment because there's quite a lot of sheets in here but um it has separate dividers where you can just put in your work like this oh can you even see this properly and then when i get home i can easily just take it out hole punch it and file it, file it away which is what i need to do today but this is always here with me because otherwise if i don't have this my papers always get screwed up and and horrible and dogged and i don't like it so to keep them neat i always put them in here next other essential i have with me in my bag is my laptop my laptop it's not a laptop it's my ipad this is my ipad that i only got about eight months ago but I love it it has changed the way that i study and that i learn and i can do a whole video on how i use my ipad if you want me to let me know if you do in the comments but it's amazing this case is also beautiful and it matches my brand color for youtube if you didn't already realize that but i have the apple th third generation apple air um, that came out last March, I think, and I have it with the Apple Pencil first generation, and yeah, I absolutely love it. This has been a godsend with my thesis. I didn't even realize it, but 
at the time um, I had no idea that how much use I'd make out of this for my thesis alone so yeah it's been really useful I love it all of my lecture notes all of my class notes all of my tutorial notes they're all taken on my iPad handwritten notes and I absolutely love it another hugely vital life-changing product that is always in my bag and that I will not leave without anymore is my portable laptop stand this is I can't even explain to you unless you have a laptop stand or you've tried one but this changed my life and made me realize how much my how much my back was being hunched over when I was looking at my screen when it was just on the desk level but now I can't use a laptop really without a stand because I really do feel the difference and it has genuinely been life-changing so this is always in my bag look it's so small look at this look at this it's so small, just fits in the corner of my bag and it honestly, look, it will transform. Clicks open, it has two two levels, it's got this level, but if you want it a bit lower you just push, push it in even further and then you just put your laptop on here and it has little niches where your, your laptop can just fit in and be fine. And then when you want to put it away, simple, boom. Bob's your uncle. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to purchase one of these. They're so affordable as well. Really, really, really affordable. So I would highly recommend investing. Next up, we have my laptop charger, which is just always in my bag, obviously as a student. <laughs> and then we also have, I've got my bigger charger here for my iPad if I need to charge it when I'm out. And then my Apple charger wire. Oh my God, if I ever forget this, which I have done sometimes, it is very annoying, but um, usually that's not the case because I do have two. Then we have a calculator in here, which you would find surprising for a humanities student. I mean, I am a classicist, but I have been using this recently. It's a scientific calculator as well, but I've been using this recently for my thesis, which we can discuss in another video. <laughs> And then finally, the reason why I wanted to show you my capacity of the bag is that on top of all of that in this bag, I also have got two quite big books um, and they're fairly heavy as well. I mean, it's nothing like law books, but these are fairly heavy and my bag still has space for other things. But um, these two books I've been carrying around uh, from home and the library and clearly I've been using them because I've got sticky notes on certain pages that are relevant. But yeah, this also goes in my bag, which is why it makes it a lot heavier but that's everything in my bag. I also always, always have both of my headphones. I have these ones, which are just Sony um, wireless headphones, which are really useful. Always use these, definitely use these in the gym. And you'll pretty much always see me wearing them because I'm always listening to an audio book. And then I just have these headphones in case these run out of battery. And also if I end up having a phone call, it's a lot easier because of the microphone here. But these two are also two extras that aren't in my bag per se. They're either in my pocket or on my head. These don't tend to go in my bag unless I'm in the library or I'm not using them. Generally, I'm wearing them or they're around my neck. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see any other videos, remember to hit the subscribe button, comment anything below, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.